Hey guys, what is going on? It's Valplays here. Welcome back to another video channel, guys. Sorry, guys, to start this video off, I am a little bit soft. It's 6 a.m. in the morning, guys. I just completed the Jade Crown, guys. We now have it in Roblox. So the next key, guys, has been unlocked, and I'm going to show you guys how to get it as quick as possible so you guys can do it, guys. It is going to be in Phantom Forces, so that's going to be pretty cool. So let's just get right into this, guys. So... What do you need to do first? I'm gonna the solve I'm gonna explain to you guys a little solver, which you're gonna use yourself to figure out the first puzzle. If you don't want to puzzle yourself, if you want to do that, feel free to do it. So we're gonna go to the full phase right now over here. So this is gonna be the first puzzle which we're gonna look at in Phantom Forces. I'm gonna show you guys where you can get it, etc. But this is like one of the puzzles over here as you guys can see it is like a uh, sort of like a grid puzzle which you can do and you see there's like white house and gray tiles you're gonna have to make the, them all gray but of course to do that you have to make a solve the puzzle i know you, a lot of you guys are kids so you cannot do, actually do that so i in the description there will be a solver guys you can literally use this bad boy you can edit uh, what you want to do so you just click on edit and you can change whatever tile you want to so what you're gonna do guys is instead of that you're gonna uh, highlight the uh, white tiles on the solver you're gonna literally only highlight the gray ones so this gray one this gray one this gray one you're gonna highlight on here so this one this one this one you click on solve and you get where you need to click so you need to shot you just need to shoot like once on the, uh, the top left tile then once 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 so if you would do this in the real game if we would play it we would click here once we would click here once one two three one two three one two three one and one you would have solved the puzzle and you will get your key so i'm going to show you now guys in game how it's going to go and as well we're going to show the whole process of the easter egg and obtain yourself the beautiful beautiful jade crown as you guys can see i have it it's not clickbait anything like that you can literally get it already without even a hint so guys enjoy the video take care and let's go Alright guys, what we need to do next is now we need to find a purple vending machine. There are only a few maps, for example, the crane site and highway lot. The highway lot is going to be the place where we're going to be going into the next clip. You have to try to find this purple vending machine because it will contain the puzzle which you need to solve to get the key weapon to go and unlock a door somewhere else in a different map. So let's just go roll the clip and you guys will know where to go. Okay guys, here it is guys, the purple clue which we need to solve guys i got a solver in the description down below so i'm gonna make a screenshot right now gonna solve this bad boy and we're gonna do it on video There we go, guys. We got the Jade Key. Oh, so like I said, guys, let you use the soul for invert all the colors. So make the gray ones white and make the white ones gray on the soul. Right? You should be able to get yourself the Jade Key. So now we got this bad boy, guys. We need to go to a different map. That is going to be the civilian map, like the little town which we need to go. And there's going to be a keyhole somewhere on the map. But before we do that, guys, literally what you need to do is you need to reset your character. And you need to go grab your melee weapon. So you're going to go to your loadout. You're going to go to... I don't even know where it actually is. I've not played this in such a... Oh, there we go, the melee weapon. And you're going to use yourself the J key because we need to knife that map so that's how you do it, guys literally we're gonna go right now to the next map so this way we did this one a highway lot you can as well do this on the crane side there's as well a um and vending machine that does the same thing just look for a lot of people just shooting because everyone's trying to solve this clue use the solver and you should have it in like 30 seconds so let's just move to the next map guys which is gonna be uh let me just uh, it's called suburbia so that's the one you need to go find we're gonna go to that right now, that right now and i'm gonna show you guys where you need to find a key Hey right, guys, we are in suburbia. So what you need to do now, guys, is you need to go around the map and you're gonna hold down out your melee weapon and you need to go find the key 
hole, which is somewhere located in one of the houses, guys, on the top floor. It can be in a door like this one, so it's just going to be randomly spawned, so you just have to go try to find it. What I would recommend is go into, like, a very low populated server and just run around and try to find a keyhole. Maybe there's some sort of pattern, guys, but literally, this thing is so old, quote-unquote, that it's not really been found yet, like, how the patterns exactly work. So maybe later on, there's a little pattern you can find follow to actually find a keyhole really fast, but it's not really that hard, guys. There's not that many houses in this area anyway, but I think you can as well only spawn in this blue room, so we're gonna go to the room next to it, so hopefully we're gonna be pretty pretty fine as well sorry guys for me being a little bit soft today it is because it's 5 a.m almost like 6 a.m in the morning guys and i'm trying to make this video for you guys as soon as possible because literally i need you guys to know this and i'm i'm gonna stream this tomorrow as well it will be probably like a 12 to 13 hour stream uh, i'm gonna just keep on streaming the same thing i'm gonna do it once legit on stream and then i'm probably gonna uh, stream that video to everyone out there the whole day so everyone can just follow along and everyone can just come do the JQ together which is gonna be pretty cool There we go guys we got the keyhole you literally just slice the door I actually didn't know that so it's one of the blue houses like I said there we go We're gonna now gonna go to the new area which is gonna be the zombie Apocalypse, which is absolutely awesome. You get yourself like unlimited ammo. You have to do like 10 rounds of taking down zombies. It literally is like the Call of Duty zombies game, so it's actually pretty cool. So it's like waves of zombies just coming at you. Headshots do work, guys, and I think it's 10 or 20 rounds or 15 rounds. One of those, guys. What I would recommend is just running around, getting yourself a load of zombies behind you. Of course, as well, guys, remember. Um, the longer you're gonna play this, the I mean, like the higher ranks you're gonna get, the, more, the how fast the zombies are gonna be. So be careful of that, guys, that they can actually catch up to you as well. So be careful. So you have an assault rifle, guys. You have an AK, and as well, your secondary is careful, guys. Oh, I'm almost dead. I actually have to regenerate a little bit. I actually didn't know that they did so much damage to me. So hopefully, I can actually re do. I regenerate? Oh, I actually wonder if I regenerate. That's gonna be quite interesting. Okay, I'm only 10 HP, so I have to be a little bit careful. I think I will regenerate HP when the round ends. So we're going to continue, continue. Hopefully, I'm not going to be able to stay on with 10 HP. Cleared. Zombies. Okay, so I get a little bit of HP back, guys. So you don't get full HP back if you clear a round. But you, get, you have yourself a shotgun and you have yourself an AK. So that's the way you're going to have to do it, guys. I would recommend making a little train. Try not to die. Because um, then you have to literally restart all over again. I think like that's the way it was with the last key as well. So just try to clear out some zombies. As you come along the later waves, you're going to just try to uh, take them out in trains. But this way, it's gonna be it's not going to be that hard. Unless there's going to be like a train like that. Oh my god, there's so many zombies. Woo! Okay. So where can I go? I can go up here, I think. Ooh, let me just switch the shotgun a little bit. Take down the shit. Ooh, I never really use a shotgun as gun. So it's a, in this in this uh, game mode, so it's pretty cool. So we're gonna continue, guys. Kill these zombies. You guys have to do it as well. I'm not gonna show you guys all the rounds because that's gonna be pretty boring, I think. Um, so just be careful, guys, that you do not die along the way. Be careful for the stray zombies like this girl over here. Uh, and just uh, take your, take them out in all the rounds, guys. And there's like, on the bottom left, you can as well see how many zombies there are left. So that is the way you can know if you need to be a little bit more careful until the next round. Or you can just go ham and kill them all. So, guys, I'll be, end I'll be cl uh, here when it's gonna end. So uh, give me one second. Okay, guys, I died. But it actually means if you die, you start over again. So it's not the biggest deal. It's not that you literally have to uh, do all the keys again, all the stuffs. So it's literally like, it, you, you repeat it until you make it, so it's actually going to be really easy. So right now, after this cut, I'm going to be back out, because I'll get no scoped out of, I don't, out of nowhere. I just suddenly died. There was no zombie next to me, and I just died. So be careful, guys. Be careful on low HP. But uh, I'll be back. There we go, guys. We cleared the stage. Eight, seven stages in total is what you have to clear. I accidentally pressed start streaming and that was not the intention. So I'm sorry for the people that have uh, tuned into that. But we've cleared number seven, guys. We got ourselves the stage clear, guys. Which means 
that we now got ourselves the key, which is absolutely awesome. So let's just go over to the full phase to show you guys right now the full proof, of course, that we have done it right now. So we're going to go to our inventory and we will have the Jade crown of silver so now we can hunt for the crystal key guys which is absolutely awesome so guys if you've enjoyed this little tutorial uh hit that like button down below guys subscribe if you're new and as well hit the notification button down below guys would be highly appreciated guys for the j crown key i'm sorry again that i cannot really talk that loud it is because it is really really late it's now 6 a.m in the morning over here so i hope you guys appreciate this little tutorial so guys take care love you bye bye guys and i'll be live tomorrow as well for a full walkthrough of this beautiful bad boy and take care. Love you all.